Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we've got episode 4 of Project Prodigy. Now this is going to be the last episode in the first half of Project Prodigy. We will be coming out with some episodes straight after this, um, but in those episodes um, we're going to take already have taken this functional system and then we're going to be taking a look back at it and adding stuff to it like bladed cables etc. Now in this episode what I wanted to talk about uh, was I was wanting to start talking about why I chose uh, the companies I did to be a part of this project and why I chose specific products um, and, and, and really why the, those companies. So for example we're going to start with Bitphoenix. Uh, why did I choose Bitphoenix? Uh, well we already know I wanted to build a mini ITX system um, and we've already covered small form factor mini ITX systems blah 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 and I wanted to be an aesthetic mini ITX system well you're not going to get a mini ITX system that's aesthetic if it's also going to be extremely compact and there's no company on, on the market uh, that really revolutionized the mini ITX form factor in the same way that Bit Phoenix did with Prodigy uh, so not only did we have a, a mini ITX case that we could build an aesthetic system in uh, but then we also had one that uh, I could add stuff to that I wouldn't be able to in another mini ITX case. Um, so, for example, why we choose Project uh, Project Prodigy as 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 the Project Prodigy? Uh, well, obviously, it's based around the Prodigy, and uh, obviously they have their other cases out uh, out there uh, now, which are based on kind of the same skeleton. Uh, but I like their soft touch treatment. Um, and it, you know, really, I wanted the Prodigy to be the first case that I tried out from BitPhoenix because so, I was a bit skeptical about it at first, and I wanted them to really change my mind uh, about this 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 route that they were going in, um, and they really did. Uh, I learned through reviewing the BitPhoenix Prodigy that the side panels are the best side panels that I've ever ever seen on a case in my entire life. Uh, they're the heaviest side panels for their size that I've ever felt um, and it's, they're probably the thickest side panels I've ever uh, tried. There's bits where the side panel bends in on itself and then it's double the thickness. Um, and I, it, it really uh, it, it made something different out of a mini ITX system uh, that you couldn't really get out of any other case um, on the market. And yes, there is companies out there that are essentially copying the uh, Bit Phoenix Prodigy. Um, but why, why deal with a copy when you can have the uh, the real deal? Um, so you know, I, I wanted I wanted a case that um, I could do everything that I wanted uh, with. So I can do dual radiator. I can uh, have a black and white color scheme. I can have. Uh, all the fans I want. I can be able to look through a window at the certain parts, certain components that I want to look at and uh, because it's the Prodigy it's basically uh, the the case on the market that has the most colour options uh, so it's a case that not only I can build a, a colour theme around but also everybody else can build a colour theme around uh, regardless of the colour that they want to choose so it's really, it's almost kind of the most customizable case on the market in some respects um, so it, it let me not only do what I wanted to do uh, but it also let me leave it open for other people to copy but in their own way in a sense uh, so that's that's why I went with Bitphoenix that's why I love to have Bitphoenix as a part of it and this is the end of the video so we'll see Silverstone in the next one I'm Hal Thompson, you've been watching another Haltech TV video, please don't forget to subscribe, and goodbye!